All right, Butch, we're going to shift gears. We're going to go to the 9,300-pound Super Farm Class. And our first driver is? Paul Vanorn from Pella, Iowa, the 1486 called Never Enough. Hey, we got a red one right off the bat. What do we have next? I'm Mark Colberg from Freeport, Illinois, with a Minneapolis Moline G1000 called Propane. All right, we have a, a yellow one here, a Mini Mo. What do we have next? Larry Wolf, driving Wolfgang's Warrior from Watertown, Wisconsin. Okay, thank you. And who do we have? David Batliner from Floyd Knobs, Indiana, driving the Super Hick Massey Ferguson. Hey, another breed in here. That's what we like about the Super Farm. Mike Linehan from Sparta, Wisconsin, drive a 7610 John Deere, call Green Power. All right, there's the green paint. Jimmy True from Frankfort, Kentucky, driving 4010 John Deere, Logan's Toy. All right, Logan's Toy is here. Mike Darnell from Santana, Kentucky, driving an international 1486 known as a Shadster. All right, he's got some fans with him. Harry Bledsoe from Prince Lake, Indiana, driving a 1066 called a Red Dog. The Red Dog is here. Brent Leonard, Austin, Wisconsin, IH 1466, Mother's Nightmare. Mother's Nightmare. Danny Bond from Sparta, Kentucky, driving a Case 1175 called the Screaming Eagle. Hey, the Eagle's here. Where's he going to roost tonight? What's next? Billy Morris from Nicholasville, Kentucky, driving a 6030 John Deere called the Brothers Keeper. All right. Okay, who do we have next? Justin Wagler from Bean Blossom, Indiana, driving the John Deere 6030, the real deer. Hey, another green one. Jim Brisky from Berlin, Wisconsin, driving a John Deere 4955 called Bodacious. All right, another John Deere. Jerry Shepard from Galveston, Indiana, driving a John Deere 5020 called the Barnyard Banshee. All right, well, the green's kind of running on. We're going to shift colors here. Uh, Terry Benson from New Lisbon, Wisconsin, driving uh, MX-170 Case IH Red Storm. All right, you got a little laryngitis problem. We'll excuse you tonight. But he has a red tractor, fans. Kevin Walker from Trafalgar, Indiana, born a 1466 International called Thunderstruck. All right, the Thundershark. Ray Heron from Winnebago, Illinois. Uh, I'll be driving the IH-1066 called the Red Express. All right, another red one. Tony Seatsma from Allendale, Michigan, and we drive a John Deere called the Wolverine Deer. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there are your stars of the 9,300-pound Super Farm Stock. Let's give them a nice round of applause, fans. Six years. Stop by the video and DVD sales desk located in the front lobby of the Coliseum and give your order tonight. Port injection going right. right into those valves and right into the cylinders. Do we have any Red fans here tonight? Where are the Red fans? We're going smoking right now. Here right, we go. Paul Van Dorn out of Iowa. Never enough tractor. Hey, Harold, by the way, I want to know if all the fans here in Freedom Hall know this is a non-smoking facility. Is that right? What are we running here, smokers? Smokers. Non-smoking facility. 19.40. 219.10. Do you all get that up there in 308? Just want to check 219. Point. Never mind. I'm sorry. Hey, Mark Kohlberg, Freeport, Illinois. And the tractor is known as Propane. And snuffed her out right there, bub. How about it? Now remember, we only got three-inch turbocharger, so we're talking less horsepower. And that's what happens when you can't get enough air into it. It takes horsepower. And it, it... 229.34. 229.34. For Mark Kohlberg. To continue a little more history here, the top award for each class was 800 bucks. The total prize money that year was $5,700. We now give over $200,000 in awards. I sailed at Fort Wayne a couple of weeks ago. Here's one to watch. He was in the pull-off every time that the tractor pulled on Sunday afternoon and on the uh, Friday night show, he was in it. So let's watch and see what happens here with the man out of 
Wisconsin, Watertown, Wisconsin. All right, John Deere people, how about it? All right, John Deere fans, what do you think of that one? Well, he was our test puller. Remember, they've lightened up the sled. 239.57. 239.57 from Larry Wolf. They call themselves the Super Hicks, although the school's name is the Highlanders. All right, let's see what the Super Hicks is going to do here then. Massey Ferguson, where do we have any Massey fans? Whoa, hell, how about it, Massey Ferguson people? Wow. I want to tell you something, Harold. I have seen this tractor go a lot down the tracks. That's the first time in one of the best pulls I ever. 237.11. 237.11 for David Batliner, Floyd Knobs, Indiana, the 8160. A 7610 John Deere. How about it, John Deere people? I want to hear from you right Peter. 240.99. 240.99. So, another Badger State puller right there. Larry Wolf, number two in his John Deere. Number three, David Batliner at 237.11. All right. Up next, the 4010 John Deere, Jimmy True, out of Frankfort, Kentucky. Here's that 4010 now, Jimmy True, Frankfort, Kentucky, driving Logan's toy. Point four five. Two hundred thirty four point four five. We'd like to welcome the Crittenden County FFA group. Number one, here we go now with Paul Vandernude out of Pella, Iowa with Never Enough. The international on the starting line here. And uh, he turned down that first bull, then we did start the class all over. A 1466 international on the starting line. And right there, Paul Vandernood, Nord. 226.49. Oh, dang, gone. Boy, if that didn't wake you up, nothing one. Tell you that right now. Wow.
Well, we don't see a lot of wiggle. He just might have lost a hose there or something. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give Mark a nice eight. 215.38. Up next will be Mac Darnell and the Shitester. Where are you from, Delman? Marion, Kentucky. How many years you've been coming here? Long time. Long time. Are you you've been with him every pull? I have. <laughs> yeah, well, it sounds like you're having fun. I always enjoy it. Okay, let's get back to pulling, Butch. All right, here we go. Mac Darnell. How about it, Red fans? Where are my Red fans? All right. Do we have a new leader? We'll find out. 8 38.83. 238.83. Mac Darnell out of Cynthiana, Kentucky. Okay, fans, here comes the Red Dog. He comes out of Indiana, French Lick, Indiana. Harry Bledsoe. So the Red Dog's about ready to make his run. Come on, Red fans. You got one sitting here in the winner's circle, and you'd like to have some more, wouldn't you, Red fans? Come on, talk to me. Well, here's a good one to watch. Here's Harry Bledsoe. Guy does a lot of winning in the Indiana area. Here he comes. Wow, Harold, he was running strong, wasn't he? Holy kid, point one four. 185.14. Mother's Nightmare will be up next. Here we come with them. Here we go. Here come the Mother's Nightmare. Brent Winterod out of Wisconsin. Wow, Harold, I thought maybe, just maybe. Yep, and you can hear that turbocharger when it's uh, all done, remember right. Here's your pull distance for Brent Lenarud, 231.57. 231.57, so here you go, oh, what a feeling, pulling at the National Fire Machinery Show, go screaming eagle right there. And here comes Screaming Eagle fans. Come on, let's get with it. Let's bring this tractor down here. Let's go, Spartan, Kentucky. Once again, pull distance for Brent Leonard Root, 231.57. 231.57. All right, Case people, here we go. The Screaming Eagle. Boy, he nailed it right there. Oh, wow. Well, he made a good effort, fans. Let's give him a nice round of applause. The Case 1175. How about that? Danny Bond, Sparta, Kentucky, Screaming Eagle. Also, we had big, we had John Heilman here that pulled for years, LD Nation, Art Arfons, Dave and Ralph Banner, the Banner Brothers. Oh boy, that goes back a long. Tim Engler, who still involved somewhat with truck and tractor pulling with chassis and rear ends. Kentucky on a brother's keeper. Here's your pull distance for Danny Bond, 219.81, 219.81 for Danny Bond, 219.81. Okay, green fans, you got two green ones and one red one setting up here in the top three so far. Looks like 60-30 to me from this angle. 
That'd well, we still got some good tractors to go. Ray, Ray Heron yet to come. He's still got to come in here yet. We've got uh, Justin Wagler, Terry Benson, uh, Tony Seatsma. Man, we got some good stuff yet to come here. Put a lot of good tractors down towards the end of the classes here tonight, or by the draw, that is. But here we go. Remember, Harold, 244 feet is a full pull. Man, I'll tell you what, when that box hits the top of that sled, it's all over but the shouting, boy, I'll tell you. It sure is. But something unusual happened here, Butch. Did you notice the engine kind of quit and the tires never spun? You watch when the sled pulls away, there's going to be no dirt there. Because every point zero two. 226 point zero two for Billy Morris. I told you he was one to watch, Harold. Yes, sir. -y. One to watch. Look at him right there. Justin Wagler, Nashville, Indiana. Actually, he didn't like it to be known as Nashville, Indiana. One at 240.99, but let's give Justin a nice round of applause. 240.14. He's in number two now. Barnyard Banshee will be up next. Jerry Shepard out of Galveston, Indiana. Then we're going to get a little bit of red, three red tractors, and then one green. So we got two deers coming up, three reds, and one green before we, this show's over here. Well, it's getting more competitive all the time, Harold. Well, Bodacious has kind of had its tongue hanging out there, and it kind of run right out of horsepower. Which 8.18. 228.18 for Jim Brisky out of Berlin, Wisconsin. 228.18. All right, here we go. What did he tell you, Harold? Okay, they told me that a banshee is some kind of an animal that runs real fast, and they really didn't know what kind of an animal it was. So, here we go. Take it or leave it, that's what I heard. Here we go. 5020 John Deere. The Barnyard Banshee. All right, there you go, right there. Well, it's still a John Deere one, two, three right now. And fans. All right, here we go, Red fans on the line. Terry Benson. Where are the Red fans? Come on, Red fans, where are you? Hey, Red fans, we got to shake these John Deere's up. Come on, folks. Let's get with the program. All you international people, stand up and be counted, because here he goes. Come on, Red. Here you go. Whoa. Man, oh, man. That MX-170 was a trying, Harold. He was a trying. That's right. He really was right there. It might be close. We might have shook up the... 234.33, and I believe that puts him in the number five spot. Is that right? What does it put him in? Seventh. Okay. 234.33. He is number seven here right now. Green. So come on, Red fans, talk to us. Come on, international fans, stand up. All my international 
international people, stand up. Let's Come go. On, right. All international, international fans, let's, let's go. go red. Close. It is close and look out. Wow. He has to beat 240.99. Well, I'm gonna tell you that tractor won twice in Fort Wayne a couple of weeks ago. 241.44. That's your new leader, and I know what you IH fans are thinking. It only takes one red one to beat all those green ones, right, Diane? All right, here we go, John Deere people. Tony Seatsman didn't know if he was going to get here tonight or not. He had 14 inches of snow in front of the uh, equipment barn up there, and fortunately, the county, he called the county uh, highway department. They came out and dug him out so he could get here. John Deere people, here you go, your last chance. And it's a good one out of Michigan, Allendale, Michigan. Here he comes. Green! Butch, what's the distance he has to beat? He has to beat 241.44. That's what he has to beat. How many of you fans think he done it? How many of you fans think maybe not? It's gonna be real close. Wow, let's see what it is. Two, four, Three point five five two forty three and fifty five, and it's Tony Seatsma. I want all you John Deere fans. Hey, we got one more. We got one more. Oh yeah, we got one more. He's coming back, and this was the guy that had some problems at Thunderstruck out of Trafalgar, Indiana. All right. What can you say, Harold? Well. When you pull a John Deere out to the winner's circle and it didn't happen, that's like going to the wedding and your bride doesn't show up. Wow. Okay, folks, one to go. Is it, the question is, is she going to start this time? That's the question of the hour here. John Deere people are already saying no. Yeah, they don't think so. But the Red fans. They want to see it come on. We do know he did get into his batteries trying to start it the first time. So you can see him down there. I've got an auxiliary set of batteries, looks like, trying to get this tractor going. So they're doing some feverishly work down there at the start end. And it is a policy of the National Farm Machinery Show. Now you can take that John Deere to the starting line. The winner's circle. All right. All right, friends, anybody like to stand up and take a break while we get the final results here? You're more than welcome to do so. Be sure the novelty stands are out in the concourse area. Be sure and stop it and look at the novelty stand. And Syngenta is proud to sponsor all the trophies here at this event. A great big thank you. You away on the snowstorm, did you? Yeah, we sure did. Uh, we had some really good fellas from the county came in to my greenhouse and made us a little path, and we said, we got a hot load. We got to beat a Louisville by five, and uh, they did it for us, and... Otherwise, we'd uh, who knows where we'd have been tonight and this morning and whatever. It, uh, but it really helped our weekend, that's for sure, and what a great deal. They sometimes say they save the best for last. Do you believe that? Well, I've seen it done before that way, and uh, we didn't know, but uh, we certainly feel good about this, and we're surprised. I mean, really, we had some good tractors here tonight. I hear you and Heron had a little discussion at lunch today about who was going to win tonight. Is that right? 
Yeah, I mean, uh, Harry and I talk about that all the time. And uh, I wouldn't dare invite him to a tractor pull if I had an invitation. Is there a, <laughs> anybody you want to thank tonight? Uh, there's always a lot of people to thank. Uh, gee. I'm uh, helping you through this. How about Sincenta? I got to thank my family. All right. There's number one, your family. They're home working real hard. So and you're out play playing, right? Okay. <laughs> Uh, Syngenta, really. I mean, we really appreciate it. It's a heck of a show. We love coming. We, if there's anything we can do to keep it up, we're ready, you know. And uh, also Columbus Diesel, the guys worked hard for us. I think it paid off. It looks real good right now, and uh, we're real thankful for that. Riverside Engines, uh, GMS uh, Machine Shop, uh, my pit crew. I mean... <laughs> And the county road crew. Yeah, and the county. I got guys helping me on every corner of the stadium. So, you know, we did good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here's your winner. Let's give him a nice round of applause. How about it? Tony Sietzma from Allendale, Michigan. The winner tonight, our trophy presenters representing the Kentucky State Fair Board, Mr. William Toll, and from Syngenta, Pam Davis. Well, we got the Heron family here. We got Jeremy, Jordan, we got Kathy, and we got Ray. Congratulations. Thanks, Butch. I, this is a real good feeling. I, basically a dream come true. Tony, uh, I didn't count on him out as soon as we got off the tractor there, down there. I, I knew he had something up his sleeve. They were uh, cautiously optimistic, I could say, for the day. But, but uh, I'd like to thank Syngenta, uh, the tractor pull committee, my motorhome driver, Jim Taylor. Uh, he did some of my paint work besides, so, and my family. Uh, we was fortunate enough to do pretty well in Fort Wayne last month, and, and my wife was home because uh, somebody's got to pay the bills and, and she wasn't there to be able to be there with me when we won out there last month. So I sure appreciate it and I'd like to thank you too, but you do a heck of a job. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, by the way, are you going to turn the wick up for Saturday night now? We might. Uh, we'll go back and look at things and we might put her on kill for Saturday All night. Right, kill for Saturday night. Let's give him a nice round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Winnebago, Illinois, Ray Heron. He's your number two here tonight. Once again, Pam Davis representing Syngenta and Mr. William Toll representing the Kentucky State Fair Board. Mike, congratulations on a great win. Welcome to Louisville. Thank you. Anybody you'd like to thank tonight? I'd like to thank Syngenta and the Kentucky Fair Board. Got a heck of a show here. How long have you been pulling Super Farm? Uh, six years. And loving every minute of it. Have you ever decided you might want to jump up to the pro stock category? Well, we used to pull Super Stock in the 70s, so just, just getting started back at it. All right, well, that's great. Anything you'd like to say tonight, ma'am? No, not too much. Not too much. I was talking about this lady's tan a while ago. I said, you got a tanning booth? I hope she's no, but I got one close by. So that looks pretty good. Congratulations, guys, and we'll see you Saturday night, okay? All right, ladies and gentlemen, Mike Lanahan, let's give him a nice round of applause. He is number three here tonight with a green bar tractor. All right. Once again, our representing Syngenta, Pam Davis, and representing Kentucky.